Hi, this is John Barr from Miller Six Mill. Just like giving you a little intro on how I do my basin. I had a few people ask me on some of the sites. So I stick in my GW 20 by 20 millimeter bases. Uh, I use the old slotted ones because they're the cheapest one on eBay. Um, you will find that you have to trim some of the bottom. So buy yourself some cheap little clippers and chop off the excess. Pretty self explanatory. Here I'm just using GW um, sand, put PVA glue down, dipped it in the sand and as you can see it leaves this little molehill. So what I strongly recommend is you actually put more PVA glue around the sides, don't put any on the molehill itself. Redip it again and you'll have a smooth surface. Over here I've just inked the entire sand with Army Paint at Soft Tone, so nice even surface. So we can go on to the next stage. On to the next stage, we're going to actually paint the base. So using a dry brush effect, we start using our first layer, which is Avalon Sunset. Going on to this bone effect as well, straight on top, always dry brushing. Don't worry if you make too many mistakes, you can always clear it up. Using Bristol Brown around the bottom of the actual model as well. Now, if you do make mistakes, this is where you can actually use some GW grass. So if you've got a clunky effect anywhere, too much paint, you can actually hide it up with the grass. As you can see here, this is a painted legionnaire. Here's a complete finish outcome with the painted models and the basing. Uh, with the movement tray, did the exact same thing. I've uh, put a sheet amount on the bottom. All the uh, legionnaires have been magnetized. And yeah, I'm, um, it's really quick. It's really simple. Try not to dwell too long on a single model because remember you are going to be painting on about two to three hundred of these and if you're spending half an hour on one model you're just never going to get through it. I hope this video has been helpful to at least one person and um, yes thanks for watching and hopefully I'll get back to you some more good stuff soon. Thank you, bye.